we tend to think that our view of the world is the objective view of the world. And as a consequence, anybody that has a belief or point of view that's different than ours somehow has to be wrong about things. And there are ways, a few ways they could be wrong. One is you might think to yourself, they don't have the facts that I have, and as a consequence, they can understand it if I only explain it to them. Second is might be they have the facts, but they're not quite smart enough to figure out what's going on. Or the third might be they have the facts, they understand the facts, but they're turning their back to the actual reality. So almost, uh, you know, they're, they're somehow evil in some capability. Campbell Soup's got a great example about inertia. So about 25 years ago, they got a new CEO. Uh, the company had been underperforming in terms of financial metrics. So the guy was asking questions from A to Z. And one of the things he found was that they had this huge promotion for soup uh, right around the fall. Now soup, tomato soup, was the most profitable product and their biggest product. And so he asked the guy who run the business, like, why are we doing this? And the guy said, I don't really know. We've always done it this way. So we went back and researched, and it turns out right after World War I, they started to source their own tomato, tomato crops. They would get the huge tomato crop come in, then they would can tomato soup and make tomatoes juice, and then they would have inventories through the rafters. And of course, they didn't want to keep the inventory around, so they did a huge promotion to get it out to the stores. So they've been doing this for a few years, but of course, many, many years ago, Camel went to sourcing tomatoes all year round, and they perpetuated the, pro the process, which of course, made them forego lots of profits. So this is a really interesting question is no one really stopped to say, why are we doing this promotion every year where the initial justification for it was long gone and yet the practice perpetuated? We don't really want to change our views. We don't really want to change our organizations. And what we know is a lot of organizations have a ton of inertia. So they tend to do tomorrow what they did today. And sometimes they don't pause to think about the rationale for those things.